guys rc here let me kind of get situated there we go all right i think my camera got moved to touch let's see right there yeah i think we're good all right well we're back with green hell episode 17 we're on day 32 i have been uh having an issue uh so you may have seen the last video that went up was a bug report uh it was trying to destroy this so we could build a wall there and every time I try to destroy that it doesn't work so now I feel pissed off that I've deleted that I've destroyed this because now there's no sense in rebuilding that over here oh well um, yeah so I'm pissed off we've got the sticks that we took from that But let's go ahead, I'm going to drop that there, and I've got a couple of sticks. What kind of weight are we at? 28 and a half. All right, let's go ahead. This is going to be, you know, you know that what I'm doing here is more of a testing out the mud and just playing around with that right now, correct? Uh, that was what I kind of mentioned in the initial episode uh, that we would be doing. We do not have combat turned on. Uh, we still have the odds and ends like the jumping spiders. Like that shit there. Oh, there are some bananas. None, none. All right. How is our... I could use some more bananas. Let's just eat one. And that'll get us good to go. All right, let's head off on the road. I just kind of want to be able to get through all this. Don't care about any of that stuff. Wish we could destroy, just destroy that, right? Alright, there went our axe. That's fine. Alright, I got a small, I got a rock, a rock. Alright, we're just going to drop these right there. Another stone. Another stone. I thought I had seen some big rocks somewhere. Oh, I do. I have one more axe, though. One of the things I wanted to look for and I, is when you come around these big trees that have these big knotty stumps is... This is where you find the Brazilian nuts. Uh, there were three last time, but I guess it restarts each time. Fair enough. But this is where you would find those. Those are used evidently to make the fishing rod and various things of that nature. Uh, so let's see. I want... that all right all right so we're gonna lay that right there okay um, let's go see I always there is no rhyme or reason to which direction this stuff falls I thought we had kind of done some science on that, but it didn't work out. <laughs> uh, 
All right, let's clear this. Clear that. Okay, the logs I just want to drop out in the middle here. Alright, there's two more long sticks. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, it might be a little cheaty, but we're going to use the crafting method to get these back to camp. Um, all right, where'd the other log go? Not sure. It's out here somewhere. All right. Small stick, small stick, long stick. And... Did the other one fall down in here somewhere? It did not. Hmm. Did it fall this way? Oh, there's a big stone. We can harvest that. I am going to need those stones in a little while. All right, let's drop that one. I think that'll give us enough to get started today. I'm going to be out of town uh, about every three weeks. I go out of town for uh, for work. So, as usual, I try to record ahead and make sure I have episodes up for the days that I will be. Okay, wow, we have, oh, uh, yeah, let's destroy all these, that'll help us out a lot. That was stupid. <laughs> that was not good. Not good. I was trying to close it because I thought I was done and I was not. All right, let's see. I think we've got everything there. Just kind of browse around with the mouse. Also, um, I had mentioned before about being able to carry like this, and over on Game Edge channel, uh, somebody called me out and said, no, that doesn't work. And you guys, are, one of you guys, uh, Robert, I think, is the one that told me you could do this. And uh, so thank you for that. So I shared that with Game Edge, and sure enough, he came back and he confirmed that it worked for him as well. So we are overweighted, but... That's okay. Better to do this in one trip. So what I'll do is I will edit this out for the walk back to camp so you guys don't have to sit through all that. And we'll be back when I'm at the camp. All right, we are back at camp. Uh, it did take a few minutes, but 
Now, one of the other things is, yes, you can take these off one at a time, and they will stack up nicely uh, and not fly everywhere. But, like up against the wall, they stack up pretty damn nice <laughs> without having to take all that time. All right, let's see. All right, so we got that. We'll use these sticks over here. Three. Tell you what, they sure go a lot faster. Oh my god. They go a lot faster than uh chopping them down, don't they? And unfortunately, they do not appear to grow back. All right, let's reset our trap here. Um Let's go make sure we've cleared everything out at the top of the ridge here. Alright, we do have this. Alright. Alright, one and two. Chop this one down. One and two. All right, kind of right in this clearing here, huh? It's kind of where we want to be. All right. We are getting a little dark. What time is it? Yeah. That's not ready yet. Alright, you know what? Let's be happy with the four. Try to get to the back of the camp. Alright, now unfortunately we're not going to be able to build the wall over there. And I did tear down the uh, little jump here uh, because, well, you know, with that in place it blocks it off. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I really want... Okay, I want to put another wall right there, right there, and right there. So again, this will be our doorway. We'll have a doorway out here. We will have some open skylight. I don't think I can get anything else in here, and I don't really think I need it. Um, I mean, I've got covering. Maybe over here is where I build a bed. That might be a good idea. Uh, certainly, we can have some more store, another storage box down there. Maybe over here as well. I don't know, but that's our way in and out. So let's go ahead and start that wall. Now the other thing we need, and I understand it is dark for you guys, my apologies. All right, we're going to go with a mud wall there. And another mud wall there.
And I know I've got some mud bricks laying around over here. Got some campfire ash. I'm not sure how many are laying loose. Maybe when it gets a little brighter. The moon will come out in about an hour. I'm just kind of looking around blindly. Alright, well let's mix this up. That'll be good. Yeah, we can, oh, we can sneak through here for right now. That's good. Nice little shortcut. Um, trying to figure out where I got to go. There it is. It's very easy to get turned around at night. Okay, there's one wall. I think we had a campfire ash way up in there. Got a cat hair or something bothering me there. The rain will finish off you know, what's left of that. Looks like this will be a little bit of a shorter episode. Um, but again, we're getting probably close to the end. You know, we've built a lot of the stuff that we can build. I want to finish the walls and the stands and kind of have a functioning camp and then go and put in some of the remaining, um, some of the remaining pieces, I guess, for lack of a better word. Now, I have seen some people build two of the mud things, but I think we've shown that you can, it's more than functional with one, and then you're not wasting, you know, wasting resources. You know, we know how hard some of that stuff is to come by. All right, we'll wash down till we get into the ones. The rain can finish us off there. All right, we'll let that start working. Okay, we need to use an ember. So let's get, get that going. Get a little bit more. That's full. I don't know if we have anything else to put in there right now, do we? Mm. All right, we'll let that build up. That's good. Let's see, we need six. 10, 16, 25, I need 34, oh, you know what I could do here, this mud might be ready, yep, there we go, get it mixed up. One more for that. That'll be the walls done. 
And then we want to build a roof. Now that one's already got a roof. That one does not. having to start to jump a little bit. Yeah, I hope I hope the developer does something with the uh, the leveling, I guess for lack of a better word to call it. Alright, we've got moonlight that way. Because I've got some leeches, it appears. All right. Go ahead and wash ourselves off. I think we hit leeches in this thing here. That'll, that'll clear that out. And let's go ahead and we'll drop a few of these to clean out there. Try to finish this roof and then we'll call it an episode. But you see right here, I mean, where I'm having to jump to get that in. That's the first time we've really had to jump anywhere here. Alright, so that's done. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Get some more mud going. And a camp ash. And you know what? Let's take a good shower and then we can call it a night. Turn off. There we go. Alright, make sure it's not leaking out. Alright, so we've reached the end of our structure here. I think I think this gives us a nice little area that we can defend at. Now, if they come in the back way. We're pretty screwed. I could always tear this out, but I, you know. And then, of course, the other thing. Come on. That log is killing me. We can get out here. Now, if I was truly trying to build a defensive structure, I would really like to break this down put a wall there but what we found when I did put what do they call it a uh, a shed when I put the shed right here it actually blocks you from getting I'll place it and show you what I mean now until all the stuff is up it doesn't affect us but once we get it started we can no longer walk under here maybe if we crouch but it limits us to getting in this way, but it also keeps us from getting out. So I don't know, maybe we do that in lieu of a wall. Maybe I keep it there. I had an issue, I noticed something else. Maybe I did build the sticks, I don't remember. I don't remember. All right, so, but again, I can walk through right now, but yeah, I must have had the sticks in. Once these sticks go in, this area right here is closed off, so that may be the way to go. So that adds five more sticks to what we need. So a couple of more gathering runs. So what I think I'll try to do is off camera over the next couple of days is uh, try to gather all the long sticks that I need get them back here to the camp and then we can uh, finish up the construction of the walls get the mud walls up maybe a couple of windows or something 
and uh, take a good look at it in the daylight. Oh man, I am dying. All right, let's eat uh, that. That. Go ahead and eat that. Real quick, I want to run out here and see if we killed anything. That way it can start drying up. These are always good carbohydrate stop gaps. Uh, where's our... There it is. I couldn't see it in the dark. Uh, again, I don't know if the animal, if the kill despawns or what. Alright, let's go ahead and eat those. We're good up on fats. Alright, and it is... 3 o'clock in the morning, so yeah, I am well past bedtime. So like I said, what I'm going to do over the next couple of in-game days is try to get the rest of the long sticks here. Uh, hopefully in the next episode we can finish up the wall construction. And then maybe a last episode, one or two episodes where we kind of spruce the place up, clean it up a little bit and do a little bit of exploring on some of the other little things that we can build. Um, I mean, we built a lot of it, like the storage box, but, you know, see if there's anything else that we want to add. Maybe some traps, things of that nature. But until that time, thanks for watching. Pound the like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye.